Mail Newcastle fan awake and responsive in hospital after St. James Park scare. A Newcastle fan who required emergency medical treatment during the club's match with Tottenham is awake and responsive in hospital. The Premier League clash was suspended for around 20 minutes just before halftime after players including Spurs Sergio Reguilon alerted Andre Mariner to an issue in the East Stand at St. James Park. With the game stopped, Newcastle club Dr. Paul Catterson sprinted across the pitch with the defibrillator after Eric Dyer spoke to the bench. The North East Ambulance Service said that the device used to assist the supporter was not the one that was in the dugout but rather one belonging to the ambulance service within the ground. After receiving treatment, the fan was applauded by the entire crowd as he left the stadium on a stretcher. A spokesman for the North East Ambulance provided this update, we had a man collapse in the stand next to the touchline. A member of the public started CPR and we had one of our defibrillators on scene within moments. Our staff, supported by St. John's Ambulance, delivered two shocks and successfully resuscitated him. Do you think Steve Bruce should be sacked as Newcastle boss? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. He was described as awake and responsive and was taken to the RVI Royal Victoria Infirmary in Newcastle. Tottenham's players received praise on social media after their quick thinking allowed the referee to stop the game. After the game, Bruce said, I have to say well done to the supporters. Straight away, they've made it pretty obvious that something is happening in the ground. They alerted the players who, immediately, responded like anybody else would do. The big thing was apparently we had a defibrillator and specialists over that side of the ground anyway, which has probably saved the man's life, from what we're hearing. I hope that's the case, our thoughts are with his family and him, and that he makes a recovery. All the early indications are that he's going to be okay. That's where football's got to over the last few years. It's terrific that we have the people to save his life, and, of course, we've got defibrillators over there for this.